Today we are going to discuss about a cardiac cycle and diastolic volume and systolic volume and stroke volume and cardiac output. For this purpose I made a diagram on the board and now let's begin. That as we know that the contraction of the heart starts from the SA node. SA node generated impulses and this impulse separate hole over the uh, atrium uh, and after this it separate to the uh, ventricular region and as a result of this uh, uh, this impulse uh, the contraction of the heart is carried out. Uh, for the first we will discuss that what is cardiac cycle. What is the timing for the contraction and relaxation of the heart? That the cardiac cycle is cardiac cycle is mainly zero point normally zero point eight seconds. Zero point eight second is a time in which the atrium contract first contract and relax. By following this the ventricle also contract and then relax. So 0 0.8 second is a time in which the atrium and the ventricle contract and relax once time. That two contraction and two relaxations. One contraction atrium, second contraction ventricles, one relaxation atrium and second relaxation that is the ventricular relaxation. So this is the time uh, in which the heart continue its contraction, uh, complete its construction in the relaxation phase. In case if the generation of the uh, stimulus or the impulses from the pacemaker cells is increased in the type in uh, uh, disease, uh, certain type of the diseases or hypertension uh, or the some factors, uh, the tension which regards uh, to increasing the heart rate and the heart rate increases up to more than 100 or up to 100. This condition is called tachycardia. Tachycardia in which the heart rate really increases mainly approximately 100 or more than 100. And in certain conditions like negative chronotropic effects or in uh, under the action of certain type of the drugs that is lidocine, xylocine, these are the drugs which are responsible for lowering the heart beat or the conditions uh, in which the heart beats and become low down or the generation impulse, generation of impulse from the sinoauricular node is decreased. At that condition the heart rate decreases and that's, that condition is called bradycardia in which the heart rate decreases there is less than 50 and here there is more than 100 less than 50 so what happened uh, to the cardiac cycle in case of tachycardia and bradycardia there is a general formula for this and this, that formula is that the cardiac cycle cardiac cycle will be equal to 60 that is 60 seconds divided by tachycardia in case of tachycardia that is 100 and in case of bradycardia it will be 50 so so what happened in these conditions the cardiac cycle decrease or increases in case of bradycardia what happened the contraction uh, of the heart and the relaxation of the heart occurred with a, with a very fast fashion so when the contraction and the relaxation uh, of the heart uh, carried out in a fast fashion the cardiac cycle will automatically decrease it means that the heart beats increases the cardiac cycle decreases so 60 divided by 100 that is 0 
six second it means that the cardiac cycle decreases and what happened in this case that the heart contract and relax contract and relax uh, uh, taking uh, takes more time than the normal condition that is more than it uh, 0 0.8 second so if so here in uh, tachycardia the time uh, here the time mainly uh, increases this uh, here that is 1.2 seconds what does it mean that in tachycardia the heartbeat increases and decreases the cardiac cycle and in bradycardia the heart rate decreases and the cardiac cycle increases this is about the cardiac cycle and after this we will discuss about the end diastolic volume and systolic volume end diastolic volume or simply end diastolic volume end diastolic volume mean that the amount of the blood from the atrium to the ventricles after a contraction of atrium so the volume of blood from left atrium to the ventricle to the left ventricle after ventricular contraction atrium contraction atrial contraction after atrial contraction that what does this mean it means that when the blood from the pulmonary vein reaches to the left atrium the ventricle the atrium contract the, due to this contraction of the atrium blood reaches to ventricles ventricles for example we may say that 100 milliliter blood is reached from the atrium to the ventricle so it will be that is approximately 100 milliliter this is called end diastolic volume that when the ventricle completely dilated after this dilation of ventricle the blood from the atrium reaches to the ventricle it means that when the ventricle ends its dilation certain amount of the blood reach to the ventricle and fill it this amount of blood is called end diastolic volume and what happens when the blood reaches to the ventricle the ventricle perform the action of contraction when the ventricles under the stimulus is contract it eject the amount of the blood here to the aorta and distribute it into the body so the amount of the blood ejected from the ventricle to the aorta in this case few amount of blood remains in the ventricle it will not leave the ventricle so this is the amount of blood which remains in the ventricle after a complete ventricular contraction so this amount of the blood which remain in the ventricle is called in systolic volume sorry systolic volume so the volume of the blood remains remain in ventricle after its strong contraction
In end diastolic volume 100 milliliter of blood reaches to the ventricle after the contraction 60 to 80 percent or 60 to 80 ml blood goes to aorta so the remaining blood is 20 to 40 milliliter this amount of blood what we call is end systolic volume there is another factor that is called as N stroke volume stroke volume stroke volume is the amount of blood the amount of blood from the left ventricle to the aorta is called stroke volume so after a ventricular contraction the amount of blood which eject by the ventricle to the aorta this amount of blood is called stroke volume normally the stroke volume is 60 to 80 milliliter and in another words we can say that stroke volume is equal to n diastolic volume minus n systolic volume there is it will be 100 minus 60 that is 40 or 100 minus 80 it will be uh, 20 so 20 or 40 milliliter this is the amount of sorry here 60 here 40 so 60 milliliter is the amount of blood uh, which eject by the ventricles so this uh, 60 to 80 milliliter of the blood is called uh, stroke volume and the other the another factor that is what we call as cardiac output that is cardiac output so what is cardiac output I have cardiac output in uh, equation that is cardiac uh, output output is the amount of blood amount of blood ejected by the heart per minute per minute so we can say that the amount of blood ejected by the heart into the aorta per minute this is called cardiac output so normally it is 5 liter and in exercise condition it will be increases to 25 to 30 liter of blood uh, per minute so this is about the cardiac output and there is a general equation for this and that is Cardiac output is equal to stroke volume multiply by heart rate. So there is a relation between the cardiac output to the heart rate. Heart rate increases, stroke volume increases, and the cardiac output increases. So cardiac output is directly related to the heart. The heart beats with fast fashion 
amount of the blood more uh, ejected out of the heart so cardiac output increases heart rate increases so in general there is cardiac output is volume per minute volume per minute stroke volume is volume per beat and heart rate that is number of beats per minute so this is the general formula uh, for the uh, cardiac output thank you